In this video, we're going to create a simple chat bot with Snatchbot. Uh, on our dashboard, what we want to do is click on My Bots, and this will give us a area with all the different bots we've created. We're interested in the button in the upper right, Create Bot. And what we'll do is give our bot a name and a description. We can also choose the language, and then we'll need a uh, graphic for the icon. And for this example, we're going to use this cookie. Uh, you can also start with a template where a lot of different things are already set up for you. But for this basic example, we're going to do it without a template. Now this brings us to uh, the build section and it tells us we need to click new interaction and choose type to add one. So we'll do, go ahead and do that over here and you'll see we have 12 different interactions and five different plugins. For this basic example we're going to use a simple bot statement and we will go ahead and rename this hello and press the check mark and for the bot message we will put hello i am a chat bot would you like to chat now what we also want to do is add another interaction another bot statement and we will rename this one as goodbye. And for the message, it will just be goodbye. Now, what we want to do is when somebody gets this message from our chat bot, we want them to be sent to this goodbye if they say no to the question. So to do that, what we'll do is add a connection up here. And we have a few different uh, options here. We can disable text input when quick replies are present. This means uh, people won't be able to click in, uh, type in anything. They'll just have to hit the buttons. Or, and we can also display quick replies in one scrollable line. And what a quick reply is, if we put in no, for example, would you like to add connection to your tag? No, yes. And if the response to this action contains the whole word no, what we want to do is then go to goodbye. And you just add quick reply. And if we go over here to test our bot, Hello, I am a chatbot. Would you like to chat? And you can see the quick reply is just simply this uh, button they can press. And if we hit no, it goes to goodbye. Now, what you can also do if you don't want a quick reply is we will go ahead and delete this. And then what you do is just scroll down and add a simple connection and expand that out. If the response to this interaction contains the whole word, and we'll type in no, and it'll actually uh, go out and find words that are similar to no, if we want to do that, and we'll say no for this time. And then we also want to put in no in lowercase because it is case sensitive. So if the response to this interaction contains the whole word, no or no then go to goodbye and that's all there is to it if we test our chat bot again if we test our chat bot again hello i am a chat bot would you like to chat and if we type no it goes to our second interaction which is goodbye and that's a very simple bot but as we do more videos we will have more ways that uh, 
you can set your bots up to do more complex actions. Thank you for your time.